There's a certain formality involved in royal wedding fashion. You want to look very smart and chic. And I think certainly you'll see hats of all shapes and sizes, um, but it's a fantastic excuse to get everybody wearing hats. A hat has a wonderful effect on you because it makes you stand differently, makes you just feel your whole outfit is finished. And it's also a nice conversation opener. This is quite fun, which is, um, this is really quite a big disc and it's quite a, quite a dramatic statement. And that's a very sweet little piece, which is just like almost a, what you might call a, a Juliet cap, just covering the head. When people are coming to me for a hat, for something like this in a royal wedding, you, you want an understated elegance, not necessarily a big wow factor. This hat here is a really sweet little shape because it's somewhere between sort of a little headpiece and a hat and it just sits on one side. I suppose if you're going to talk in terms of fascinators, then that is one. It's on a little Alice band, um, it has no base and it's very easy to wear. To me, a fascinator, it looks great in the evening and I think that's perhaps more appropriate. The whole art of millinery, um, the way we do it, is very labour intensive. And because we hand make everything from start to finish and hand sew everything, it takes a long time, many hours. But then that's part of the pleasure of it as well, just to get everything looking perfect. There is a very wide price range that I offer. Obviously, we, we start from um, you know, a, a little feather hairband again, all, all dyed into somebody's colours, and that's about um, 260, something like that. And a lot of the brimmed hats probably range between about 450 upwards to over a thousand pounds. I'm really hoping that Kate Middleton will, will usher in a new era of hat wearing. She's young and beautiful and wears hats very well and has worn lots so far, so I think we really could do with a, a new ambassador for hats.